Inhale the breath, bringing the chin back to neutral. Come to sitting on your knees if you're not there already. Continuing to take in more air. Straighten the spine towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, allow your forehead to slowly sink towards the mat. Coming down into child's pose. If child's pose isn't comfortable on your knees, you can do praying heart, another variation. In praying heart, the hips stay directly above the knees, and then the chest comes down with the hands extended out in front of you. Good. Lift the hips towards the ceiling, tuck the toes under, and press it up into downward dog. The hands stay shoulder width apart, the hips are as wide, the feet are as wide as the hips, and the tailbone lifts towards the ceiling as your heart presses towards the mat. Inhale, moving the weight of your body forward into plank and pressing, the, bringing the left foot forward onto the mat between the hands. High lunge on the left is the same. The front leg, the front toes are spread wide. The knee is just above the ankle and the back heel is strong, pressing behind you. Think about pressing your feet into the mat as if they could slide apart from each other on the mat. Good, hands come down, left foot comes back to meet the right. Press it back into downward dog. Bicycle the knees here, waking up the hips a little more. Breathing. Inhale, moving the body weight forward, doing another lunge on the right side. Get your strong, stable foundation and then lift the arms towards the front of the room. Exhale, pull them back behind you. Inhale, swoop them up. Exhale, pull behind, press the palms behind you just like your heel is, activating your entire arm. Inhale fully, and then exhale, swinging that left arm up and wide all the way towards the stars. Look up at your right hand if you can. If this puts pressure on your neck, keep your head looking down towards your lower hand. Exhale, swing the arm all the way through till the top of the shoulder hits the mat. Thread the needle, stretch the shoulder. Make sure your neck isn't scrunched up around your ear. You may have to pick it up and elongate it and then set it back down on the mat again. Think about making those hips square to the ceiling and square to the floor. Inhale, pulling the left leg through your hands. Drop that right heel behind you and check your alignment in the mirror before we do anything else. That right heel is directly behind the left heel. The toes flare out to the right side. And then we inhale, pressing into that top foot, swinging it all the way up into warrior one. <clears throat> Hips stay pointing forward. Press into the outside of the back foot. Allow the inner thigh of the right leg to open while the body weight is supported with your left quad. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, try to bend a little deeper into that left knee. And then inhale, splitting the arms wide, allowing the hips to open to the side into warrior two. Good, think about even distribution between the two feet pressing the feet together, squeezing them together as if there's magnets between the legs. The knee stays just above the ankle. Exhale, straighten the front leg. Reach forward with the left hand as far as you can go and then hinge at the hips, moving into triangle pose. The hand may come all the way down to the ground or you may just have it resting on your calf. The right arm points towards the stars, and if you can, look up towards the right hand. Imagine being squeezed between two panes of glass, try to bring that rump in the same line as the head and the feet. Good. On the next exhale, come back to standing. 
bend the front leg again into warrior two, and then lift the left arm up towards the heavens, allowing the right arm to sink towards the leg, reverse warrior. Hold it here for three breaths. Inhale, and let it go. Pull the legs together, that's gonna add strength to the pose. Exhale fully, last breath, pull it in. And exhale, windmilling the hands back down all the way to the mat. Pull the left foot back to meet the right. Push it back into downward dog. Exhale the breath. Bicycle the knees back and forth if you need to shake the hips out a little. 